Hi, welcome again. Openland has quite interesting uh, RVT blending tools, but the t default tutorials and everything is focused on a landscape material or a landscape. But actually, there's no limitation for RVT. You can use any surface. Here, I'm using a static mesh. Default flow component comes with the Unreal Engine. And so here you can see you know, we have a pretty nice RVT blend for this rock. To show you that, so here's the blending intensity, just one, everything. And let me remove the RVT blend. So this is how the rock look as usual. This is how after we blended that. So there are more options we can do and we can get a really nice plan. So let's get started. First thing is make sure you have virtual texture in support enabled for this project. You can check that by going to edit project settings and search for virtual textures. And then make sure you enable this checkbox, enable virtual texture support. If you haven't done that, just click this and uh, restart your project. Okay. Then we need the surface. Uh, in this case, the uh, simple static mesh, which is the one uh, comes with by Unreal Engine by default, the flow, you can see here. And then I applied a simple material and that's it. So let me show you the material. Basically, it's uh, three textures applied to the material. Now I'm trying to write this content into a virtual texturing. For that one, we use the virtual texture output node. So you can and search for virtual textures and here we have runtime virtual texture output and this is what you need okay i'm gonna click that all right so as you can see here we have some some stuff base color specular normal and stuff like that so i'm gonna connect all these things here this is our base color okay and then this is the roughness and this is the normal so i'm gonna connect these three uh, we can connect specular but that's not important right now so now we need to have a world height as well. This is quite important. So for that one, I'm gonna enter tab and search for world position. All right, you can see here. Now I'm gonna drag this and search for component mask. Here I'm gonna select only the blue channels. So basically we are trying to see the height. So that's that's here. This is the world position comes with the X, Y and C, which is RGB. And we pick the last one, which contain the C height. And that's all we need. So I'm going to connect that into my world height. So this is all we need to do inside the material. So here, this could be a simple material for a static mesh, or this could be another landscape material. This is all you have to do. Just connect base color specular if you want roughness normal and world height that's all you have to do uh, you can also do opacity and mass but that's not important right now all right everything is ready but still we don't see any blend okay that's that's totally fine and then uh what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna select my flow from the world outline and i'm gonna go to the details panel and search for virtual textures now i'm going to add two virtual textures one is for the height one is for the material so i'm going to click this add one and i'm going to select open land height in order to do that you need to have open land installed into your project and then check the description below how to how to get open land into your project all right here we have the first one height i'm going to select that and then i'm going to click this uh, plus icon again and select the material other one so we have to add these two virtual textures and there's no order you can add any any one you like then we need to have virtual texture volumes so i'm gonna click my place actors and i'm gonna search for virtual texture yeah this is it runtime virtual texture volume i'm gonna drag that into my scene then i'm gonna go to details panel here i'm gonna select the virtual texture in section i'm gonna select one of these virtual textures which is the height and then I'm gonna expand this to my whole surface, in this case, the flow. So I'm gonna select flow from this drop down menu and I'm gonna click set bounds. So immediately it will scale this volume to support my static mesh, the flow. I can see that by this uh, yellow box, you can, I can go down and see here. If this doesn't work for you, you can easily scale from here, but uh, usually this works fine. Then we need another virtual texture volume for the material. I'm gonna duplicate this one. 
control c control v from from the second one i'm gonna select my other virtual texture which is the material and i'm gonna select my flow okay and set bounds all right that's it everything is ready so i can click this uh, icon and uh, go to the place where i store the virtual textures in this case open land co and rvt so you can see now we have some previews on these two materials and that means this is kind of working right now we have everything set up for the surface and so now everything is right into the virtual texture now we need to read back from the virtual texture that's what i'm going to do by editing the material of this mega scan rock okay uh, i have located that one so this is what we're looking at here here i'm gonna here i'm gonna get a new node called open land rvt blend uh, here i'm gonna select rvt blend with attributes the reason is we have the material attributes not coming here all right i'm gonna connect that all right that's all i had to do i'm gonna save this okay by default you can see some blend available here which is not that looking good but still we can see we get something uh, with our blend now we are trying to edit this by opening the material instance of this rock you can select the rock and uh, go to details panel and this is my material instance i have already opened that inside my window all right here i'm going to search for the open land section these are the controls we are trying to do so this is the default setup and you will get a thing like this so i'm going to show you how to do a blend with this all right first thing is i'm going to increase the blend smoothness to to the maximum because basically i need to cover whole my area all right this is this is pretty cool so i can always tweak these things uh, so this is totally fine now i'm trying to uh trying to blend only on the the the, the flat surfaces not these uh, slopes because that doesn't look nice so here for that one i'm gonna crank up this normal contrast value all right so i can do it something like one and it will get something for me but i can go beyond one so just a number so let me put something like five all right it's too much i guess let me put something like three maybe two all right and also then i can uh, tweak this normal sharpness so basically you can uh, play with these two numbers and try to get a blend that you are looking for and also you can simply change the smoothness um yeah it's up to you just play with these numbers and uh, try to play, try to get a blend that you are looking for in this case i think this is the one i'm going for right and you can see now yeah it's blended pretty nicely so i can do a bypass by turning off the blend so this is the default and this is the this is with the the blend yeah this is it this is all we had to talk about rvt blending uh, with any surface using open land tools all right um see you soon with something interesting bye